loggers in Python are designated to be hierarchical. They are conceived to operate as a tree structure. For their names, loggers use dotted notation similar way Python modules do. A dot in logger's name designates who its parent is. In this slide you can see logger's name with their dotted notation. Notice that special logger named root is not included in their names. Root logger is parent of all other logger instances in your application. When you log something, say in module views, logger instance will look for its configuration in this node. By configurations I mean things like where to log and how to format the messages. If there is no configuration for current node, lessons.views, it will look for configuration in its parent, and so on and so forth. This means that in your application, if there is no other configuration for any node, root logger configuration will be used. It is very important to understand that you can configure in your application any of these logger instances. This is very flexible and very powerful system. Let's see it in action. Here is a Django project and this is its configuration file. Logging is where logging configuration goes. Logging is a dictionary and at very least you need to provide three keys version, handlers and loggers. Here in loggers key you define configuration for each loggers node individually. Here I configured lessons views. So whatever I log here in uh, lessons.views logger, which I use here in lessons views, it will be handled by this handler, which is defined here. So this handler is this one, and this handler basically will send all log messages to this file lessons.debug.log. If I will tail lessons.debug.log and I try to access a lesson, so this is a lo so this is my local copy of Django lessons, and if I try to access a lesson, for example, this one, you see here some log messages appeared. Let me refresh. Yeah, right. As I said in theory part, you can configure in your application any logger instance. In practice, this means that if you want to have all logs of say Stripe component, for example. Stripe is Python module for payment API. So if I want to have all logs of Stripe component, for example, I can add a configuration for Stripe loggers individually, like this. This configuration relies on the fact that Stripe module is well behaved and defines its top logger named Stripe. If it doesn't do that, this configuration will not have any effect. But before recording this lesson, I checked the source code of striped Python module and yes, it defines its top logger named stripe. So this configuration will work. Let me add a handler named stripe file, which I will define here. So let's have some fun. I will tail stripe debug and I'll do a checkout. I'm sure you understand that this is a testing system, right? You see now a lot of information. Maybe this is too much. So let's change logging level from debug to info. So I'll configure Stripe with level info. And you know what? I'll rename the Stripe debug to Stripe info. Now we see less information and actually you can learn a lot just by looking at log messages. Great. Each handler can have associated a special formatter which formats log messages. What I want to do now, I want to add a special formatter for this handler, the one that takes care of stripe logs. And I will name it stripe formatter with function. The formatters, they are declared on this level, next to handlers and next to loggers. So let's add one. Notice that here is plural and here is singular. By using this formatter, each and every log message 
will print its absolute path, the function name where that log is, the line number of this file and the message itself. If I change this one to percent, I'll need to replace these curly brackets with percents. And now let's have a look at log messages which will use this formatter. So this is log message with absolute path, the name of the function and the line number and the message itself. There is one logger which is very special. This is root logger. Root logger is parent of all loggers in your application. Root logger is not configured in loggers key. Because it's a special one, it has a separate key, root. Let's remove configuration for existing loggers and leave only root here. I will reuse this formatter. I will just change its name. So now in my Django application, I configured only topmost logger. And all formatted this way messages will end up in this file. Now a question. By configuring only root logger, does it mean that all info level log messages from all components of my application will be printed? The answer to this question is maybe. And the reason for this answer is that each and every logger instance has an attribute called propagate. And if specific logger instance has propagate attribute set to true, then that logger will propagate logging messages to its parent. Otherwise, it won't. And now let's check if Stripe will print its messages. Yeah, right, so messages are still printed. I want to do one more test. If I hit now save this page, you can see that there are some logging messages coming from Wagtail component as well. You see here full path name, function, line number and the message itself. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching.